Hey everybody, I'm back with another unboxing, and I am actually unboxing my last girl of the series that I am collecting. Uh, this is the DC Superhero Girls. This is Cheetah. Now, if anyone remembers correctly, the last Comic-Con exclusive that they did for superhero, the DC Superhero Girls was Cheetah with, uh, I think, Supergirl? Or was it Wonder Woman? It was a, it was a dual set. Uh, we were all wondering if they were going to produce a cheetah for the mass market so that anyone who couldn't go to the Comic-Con or couldn't afford the Comic-Con exclusive could get one. And here she is. Um, I never saw them come to store, come to any of the box stores. I don't know if they did around your area, but not in my area. Um, I did have to order her through Amazon, and I think she came to me from uh, the UK Amazon. So I don't know... Honestly, if they ever were available around here or not, but here she is in her box uh, It's obviously like a wave two or whatever series it might have been since they she doesn't have the uh, student ID Kind of like how hot girl didn't So there's nothing really to say other than there's a few clips on the back from the DC superhero girls show um, You can see cheetah right there. I don't think that we can see her in this picture. So she's not in that picture or in this picture, but they just show some of the other characters. Um, let's see. It does show on the back, which is curious, that uh, her hands are removable and her tail is removable. So I don't know if she... Oh, probably so in case you want to take the bracelets off, maybe? Or change her outfit? Uh, but um, we're going to go ahead and get her um, out of her box. Um, there she is on the front. And uh, take a look at her. Okay, so we have her out of her box. First thing off the bat I noticed is that she will not stand on her own like all the others. Um, if you notice her, her feet, um, we'll go over her colors in a little bit. She doesn't stand on flat on them. I don't know if it's just my girl or my version of the, of the girl, but she's not flat she's not flat footed like the rest of them so she kind of sits at an in, stands at an incline it might have something to do with the fact that she's part cheetah i don't know <laughs> but um she has a darker complexion not not like i guess more of a tan complexion uh let's see her she has she's a brunette but uh there's two different types of browns in there you got the light brown streaking and the and the medium brown hair and it's back in um, kind of a semi Mary Jane hairstyle. You can see like a Mary Jane type ponytail on the side there and it goes to a side part. So she has really pretty hair. It's soft. Got a little bit of wave to it. Uh, it's not too bad. It's not too bad. And then for her face, um, she has a blue eye or blue eyes that are sort of Sort of violet, I guess. No, sort of gray, I guess. Kind of a gray eyes. Yeah, I'd say gray. With light pink eyeshadow. And then she has the, on her cheeks, she has the leopard spots in brown. And then she has like a nude lips. Now, one other thing that is really cool about this DC Superhero Girl versus all the other ones is that she's a completely different mold. I... In my findings, it seems that all the other girls all have the same mold, just different fa different paintings, different face painting. No, I know it's because she's got the cheetah ears. You can see that. Both sides. Um, so that's pretty cool. Um, Outfit-wise, let's see. She has... Is this is a... It's a, it's a two-piece. Okay, so she's got a, a quarter-sleeve jacket that's done in a... What kind of material would I say this is? It's like a silky cotton, I guess. Um, maybe polyester? So, yeah. So you have a pink, and then you have the lining on the collar, and then the sleeves are done in a um, orange color. And this is a... One piece that she's wearing, sleeveless and quarter. Uh, what do you want to call it? Flood. Capris. Yeah, capris. Capris and sleeveless. It's a bodysuit. Uh, you can see. I don't know if you guys can see that on camera, 
But uh, the, it's black, and then it has black printings of all the little Cheeto spots going all the way down on here and all the way up. And then the stripe of the pink on the side. So it has like a workout feel to, to me. And then she has a belt that... Can it go all the way around? Yes. She has a belt that goes all the way around. It's attached by elastics. I'm going to leave that alone. That's done in pink, and it's a, a harder... Oh, no, it's a soft... It's a soft, pliable rubber that uh, clasps in the back. On top, also, she has a print of a cheetah face. I don't know where the ears are. It just kind of looks like a mushroom with eyes to me. But um, pretty cool. Pretty cool. And then she also has bangles. She's got... Um, Metallic gold bangles on each on each hand. And they also go so far as to putting the brown painting, the brown paint, onto her um, calves on both sides to represent the cheetah. And then her shoes are this um, orangey color with the paint detail on these as well in cheetah, the black cheetah paint. And then she also has white painted shoelaces on there. She does come with this tail that is hard plastic. And uh, it's like a tan, a tannish, a light brown. And then it goes into a spotting of dark brown. And then the tip of it is all brown. And it does connect to her somehow. Okay, so it's, it connects to her right here. There's a hole in her, in the back of her. Her lower back, right, right above her butt. Um, that's where that kind of pops in there. So now it's just popped in. I think we can Velcro around it. Okay, we got it in. It fell out at first. And then I was like, wait, this isn't going very well. But it, you have to push it in really hard and then you can hear it until you hear it pop. And then it's in there. So, um, And then it moves around. So... Which is going to make her really difficult to display for you if you want to display her sitting. Um, but I find the same thing about Hot Girl's wings. I don't know how to... You have to like take them off if you want to display her sitting. Um, so the two of them have to be displayed standing up. And they won't stand on their own. So that's pretty awesome to me. Anyhow. <laughs> so this girl got a lot more detail attention work to her than Hot Girl. And they both seem to be come out around, right around the same time. So I don't know what happened to her. Why she's so beautiful. I mean, Hot Girl's pretty beautiful too. But uh, this this part on here bothered me about Hot Girl. I don't know why they did that. There had to have been a reason. But I'm not going to get into it because we're not talking about Hot Girl right now. Um, yeah, so... Articulation. Same as the rest. Her, head's go, her head goes back and forth and up and down. Uh, she does swivel right here below the bust line and, bef and before the stomach. So she's, she can go back and forth like there. And then her shoulder joints go up and down and back and forth. She bends at the elbow and the wrist. And they have fanned out fingers that are a little bit softer than the rest of their arms. Uh, we have hip joints. They go back and forth and they spread out. And then we also have... Um, knee joints. No ankles, I, th I believe. No. No ankles. But I don't know why she won't stand. Well, anyhow. <laughs> That's all we have for you guys today. I'm very happy to complete my DC Superhero Girls collection. And I'm happy to have shared her with you guys. If you like this video, go ahead, give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And we will see you in the next one. Bye, guys.